Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the key how to how we can structure the schema in a MongoDB document. Let's try to see it. What is a schema? Normally, if you try to see the schema, so if you are coming from the SQL or MySQL or PostgreSQL like this, if you are coming it if you are coming in any of them, you you will be planning a schema for that one. So for example, let's say that you are having a user table, anything. Or otherwise, let's say that you are having a products table. We are dealing with commerce something. Right? Let's say that you are having a products table. So products table means you will be having a schema in such a way that we having a title, price, description, quantity. So like this, you will be having some column. Okay, so this is the schema. Now for the product. So if anybody wants to add a products data into the products table. So what are the must and should fields they, they should have? They must and should the product should have a title, price, description, and a quantity. Okay, so this is the normal schema we will be planning in our SQL database. Now here say there are some constraints will be there, something like a description can be null or cannot be null. So like this, so duplicate, unique thing, and all those things you'll be having. So that is a different matter. So but you will be having title, price, description, and the quantity. Okay, so like this, this is called as a schema for the products table. In MongoDB, so let's come to the MongoDB. So this is the SQL approach. So SQL approach. So this will be a normal SQL approach. So now, <clears throat> for any product in SQL, so you should have a pri title, price, description, or quantity. So if you don't want, if you don't want to mention the quantity in the products in SQL Server something, like that, so you will mention it as a null or zero. So whatever the thing. So you need to provide some data to that one, whether it could be a null or zero or something. So much and should there should be a quantity okay or otherwise a default value should be there like that whereas in mongodb if you try to observe in the mongodb so we have learned mongodb can handle unstructured data okay semi-structured data and also the structured data okay in sql it's a, everything will be a structured data so that means every everything should have a title something like that. so now let's say that in the unstructured data if you try to see the unstructured data so in unstructured data so what i can do here so let's say that you have a products okay so products collection so here we will be calling this one as a products collection now in this product collection you can have title price description like this you can have so I, I, immediately another product if you want to insert so you can write you can have title uh, you can have name in place of title so you can completely skip the price and you can add the description and also you can add extra new field something like status so that means this is completely the schema schema less approach so that means whatever the things you want you can add it in your document so that is completely supportable so you can you, so this is called as an unstructured data semi structured data means nothing but for example let's say that here i will be having a title so price so these are the two things i am adding so for the next time if i want to add another product detail so i can have a title i can have a price and i can add a description okay and also i can have a status here or otherwise so and another time when i am trying to add i can add a title i can have a add a price i can add again status here so like this i can add it so here you need to understand that the core fields are title and the price so these two fields are existing but remaining fields something like description and status are not mandatory okay those are not the core fields so it may exist or may not exist some of the core fields will be there so which must and should for the product it has to exist so these are called as a semi-structured data now when it comes to the structured data so there is nothing but a sequelish approach sql approach so that means for a product you will be having a title description price like this you will have and the status you will have so another product type if you are trying to insert you can you will also again have the product the title description so these are all the things you will be having so if you don't want the status means so you can mention it as a null okay so like this so that means we can assume that we can assume that must ensure these fields so if a product is having if a product is inserted means you can assume that it will have a title description price and status so this is called as a structured approach so all of these are supported in the mongodb so which one you want to prefer it is a 
it is your approach we cannot comment on so there is no best practice in this one but normally if you want to do it means we will approach the sql approach only why because in the sql we have we are uh, following this manner so that if a product is there means you will be having a title price distribution like that so we cannot have product means so one some fields cannot have the title and some fields cannot have the uh, name something like that we cannot we cannot use that one why because because it will become redundant so now we cannot assume it so now we can have product means first and should it will have a title description price thing so remaining all means these are not mandatory means so you can if it is available you will show or otherwise for a product if you want to show in the website or something like that title and price and description are the mandatory things so then you will force the user to add the product with the title description and price remaining all are not mandatory if are available you will show it if these are not available you will not show it so this is the manner so now we'll try to see the practical example of this one how we can use this product thing how we can store the structured unstructured and the structured data i will try to show you so let's go to your mongodb so here i will be using use leela underscore e-commerce switch to this one so now here let's try to see the collection so what is the collection? we're having only categories right so let's try to add the products now here what i will try to do is let's try to add one product so unstructured data now i am, I am trying to represent the unstructured data db dot products dot insert one here i will try to use something like title which is of type product one product one and i can have a price something like 12.99 or anything the one i will be inside now again i can insert another one db dot products dot set one here i can use name as product tool okay now this time i am converting this product to and i will not add the price and i will try to say status is two, like this so i can add it like now here you are having so if you try to see db dot products dot find dot pretty try to show thing now here this is completely acceptable now the products if you try to see first document is having title and the price and the second document is having name and the status this is unstructured data so it, you can have whatever the fields you want in the document you can have it so this is completely acceptable this is called as an unstructured data now we cannot assume that whether the products is having a title or a name can't assume so like this also we can use it but this is somewhat redundancy why because so there is no structured in this way we cannot assume that products has a title or name or something so we are not following some convention let's try to see the semi structured data i will try to remove all these things p dot products dot each i can see. okay if i try to show you find pretty so nothing is there. now let's try to insert the semi structured data so that means first and should title and price should be there so remaining all means so we can have we can, we can have or we cannot so let's say that db dot products dot set one so i can add here title should be there okay title should be there and price should be there comma we need and price should be there 10 point zero is and if you want you can also so you can kill it one is inserted let's try to insert another one title is there price is there and if you want you can also add the details and which in turn can have a uh, again the embedded document status of active and if you want to add add this so let's try to see it find out pretty so if you try to see here so let's try to insert another one so we have two products let's try to insert one title and here you can have a description or details have status here again now here let's try to see find out pretty now here you'll be able to see there are three products document and here your master should mandatorily the core functionality core core fields are 
title and the price you are having here also title and price it is having and for this one also title and price you are having and extra you have a data that details about this one so if it is present details are present for a product you will show it in the output or otherwise if it is not present means you can simply keep it off so this is how we can do it the structured data how it will have is structured data must and should these all the fields will be present so details also will be present so if it is not present means we will provide with a null option so for example let's say that i will try to show you now default dot insert one here i i will try to use some like details also we don't have a details for this one i can i can give details of null one is inserted so second time i have a details something like status of active i can one now if i try to see now here if you are able to see now for this one product we don't have a details so that is the reason we have kept a null option if you are having a details you can keep like now you are having a title price and the details so if you want another details means so a remaining uh, another keyword you another field you can have and for that field it will be a null or zero whatever the default value you are having you can keep it and like this so now you can use either a unstructured data semi-structured data and also a structured data in the mongodb so this is what i want to tell you about the schema so we can maintain whatever the schema we want we can maintain it but this one looks as a normal approach not normal approach so somewhat reasonable approach why because so we are able to understand that a products details is having must and should mandatory field something like title price and details these are things are must and should be existing so when i query through the products details so i can be make sure that so i can be sure that i will be getting must and should the title price and details this will be must and should it will be present so i can imagine that is the thing about the structured data benefit of the structured data hope you understood about the schema concept in the mongodb have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you